love for you. As I invite you, <laughs> to, invite you. to share my life. To share in my life. life. I promise always. I promise, promise always to respect your needs. To respect your needs and individuality. And individuality. I will endeavor. I will endeavor through kindness. Through kindness. Understanding. And understanding. Trust. Trust. To achieve. To achieve the warm, rich life. The warm, rich life we now envisage. We, we now envisage. envisage. I, Malcolm Brendan Skelton. Take you, Sarah Jane Batts. Take you, Sarah Jane Batts. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. That I, Sarah Jane Batts. Take you, Malcolm Brendan Skelton. Take you, Malcolm Brendan Skelton. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Wear it with love and honour. Wear it with love and honour. Malcolm, I will wear this ring. I will wear this ring. As a symbol of our love for each other. As a symbol of our love for each other. Malcolm and Sarah, and are now husband and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. All right. Your doubts aside, do what it takes. 
make it right Cause I love you forever No one can tear us apart I just want to post a toast to Malcolm and Sarah Cause I love them heaps and welcome to the family Good afternoon viewers, this is Ashley Sequeira bringing you live an interview with a lady called Nana Bats. Nana Bats has been in the news lately because of her fiery comments about racism. This interview is a direct confrontation with her as to why she is known as the Grace's grandmother. Good afternoon Nana Bats. Good afternoon, darling. How are you today? I'm pretty good, thank you. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, no, thank you. Black or white? <laughs> I prefer mine black. <laughs> so do I. Like I like my men, black and strong. <laughs> now, why is it that you're known as why is it that you're known as the racist grandmother, Nana Because I I said that I liked my coffee, black and strong, like I like my men, and that's the only reason. I don't know why I got that name. Do you? But isn't that an age-old lie, like checks in the mail, black is beautiful kind of thing? It's true too. I got no I got no comments on that whatsoever because I love black people. So you do have some experience with black people, you would yes, say that. You and I together. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, fine. That's fine. Is there, is there anything you'd like to tell the um, public of Australia as to that black's good, black's nice, black's lovely? Black is lovely. Very nice. Bla uh, black is really black, I'm telling you. Black is soot. <laughs> we shall have to cut it off there. It's getting a bit out of line. Um, take you back to the viewers. Welcome. <laughs> With Malcolm's privileged mother. All right, we'll just ask a few words as to how she's feeling and what's been happening. Not Malcolm's mother. I'm the marriage celebrant. Yeah. Malcolm's mother's over here on the corner. On the corner. In the bride. So how do you feel, Ash? Being stupid right now, so we'll move on to Malcolm's mother. We're not going to speak to Sarah Batts as to how she's enjoyed the day today and what are her views on marriage and the future. I'm Sarah Batts anymore. Oh, not Sarah Batts. I'm Sarah Batts. Come on, let's change this one around. All right, it's Sarah Skelton. Is that correct? Yeah. What? Sarah Skelton. How do you feel today? Sarah Skelton. Sarah Skelton. Yeah, fine. Thanks. And what are your views on your future married life? Um, I'm married to Malcolm. And what are your views on your future married life? Um, should be good. Yeah, yeah. As you can tell, Sarah's very speechless and undoubtedly happy. Well, we shall move on. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. All right, this is Malcolm. As you know, he's now just taken Sarah into his household, and he's now the husband with all the responsibilities. Malcolm, how do you feel about all this? Oh, I, I'm actually quite daunted by the fact. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy. Sarah's everything I could have ever wished for in a, in a, in a wife and a partner. Don't lie, you can just speak freely. Uh, that, that's, I, I, later on, I'll tell you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I love you, Nathan. Yeah, I uh, thank you, and yeah, thanks for everyone. Do you think the Adelaide Crows are a bit of wankers? Go Port. Port Adelaide. Port, pa Port, Power. Port Adelaide, next AFL champions. Yeah, thank AFL. you. Yep. Thank you, Malcolm. <laughs> All right, finally, we have gone through everybody here, and I finally come up with a lady who's Malcolm's mother. And now we shall ask her how she feels about this all. I'm wrapped for both Malcolm and Sarah. 
absolutely wrapped for both of them. They suit one another. And you're pretty happy about everything then? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any special wishes for them in the future? I just wish them long and happy years together. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's Malcolm's mother for you. She's very stoked. She's a happy woman. All right. I'm Malcolm's younger brother, like two years younger, and he has to like make that point that I'm the younger brother. So really happy to be here as Malcolm's younger brother and have Sarah here and life's good. Enjoy it. As you know, as everyone's told you, I'm the groom, Mr. Skelton. Um, this is my nana, Nana Bennett. She's just flown over from New Zealand. She's over here until Thursday. And uh, I'd just like her to just introduce herself to everyone and uh, tell us what she thought of the day. Wonderful. And you're the best looking guy here. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. I wish you all the best of success. I'm sure you'll be extremely happy. Uh, it's nice to meet all of the rest of your family as well. I'm sure over the years we'll get to know each other a bit better. Um, and welcome to uh, the family, I guess, um, and congratulations. Thank you very much. And a bourbon and coke, thanks for running out. <laughs> now we move on. I'm going to introduce you to my great uncle, Uncle Tom, also flown over from New Zealand. Um, I didn't know until two weeks ago he was coming. Uncle Tom, uh, have you enjoyed the day so far? Oh, wonderful day. Wonderful. Best wedding you've been to? Oh, one of the best. Lovely. Oh, nice. Totally enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. I'm pleased I came. Thank you very much. And thank you for the towels that you gave us and the other and your presents here. Yeah. Okay, now we're moving over. Now we're moving over to this gorgeous blonde thing over here. It's Sarah's favourite friend, Mindy. And Mindy, let's hear your 0055 voice and congratulating us. Congratulations, all the best, and um, Mum and Dad also send their congratulations. Okay, thank you and thank you for coming up. Oh, you're welcome, anytime. Any excuse for a party. Okay, moving over to the favourite part of the day, introducing this table. The best table, Rita, <laughs> Muzz, best man Steve, and Dodger. It's his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Dodge. Yep. Okay, now let's hear, um, what Steve has, let's hear what Steve has to say about uh, the day so far. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, just as I thought. Okay, now over to Muzz, up that way. Here's the girl who lives over the hill. She won't do it, but her sister will. So here's to her sister. Hey! You haven't got a sister, she hasn't got a sister, but... If she had a sister, she, she might live over the hill. Yeah. Hey, you never know. I'll pass you this bloke here. He's going to turn 40 at midnight tonight. And we're going to have a big party for him. And um, he doesn't even look 40, but he is. You know, he's a very young 40-year-old. But when he turns 40, he'll look a hell of a lot older, probably, when we're finished with him. <laughs> All right, Dave. Thanks, Mel. Sarah, it's been a really good day. And uh, hope you have a really good night. No, and um, and uh, yeah, and no doubt after uh, years are gone, and we've gone, <laughs> and we uh, we go to another 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 place for another bit of a another place and a bit of a bit of a bit of a few drinks to celebrate uh, my birthday coming up tomorrow. So uh, and maybe one day they'll get married too. And yeah. if we did, we'll have it just like this one. It's lovely. As All long right. as we can yeah. get the food supplied right. This would be my lovely, my lovely, 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 lovely friend Lucia, and this is her sister Mina behind you, sort of. Alicia was a photographer and she's done a brilliant job. Thank you very much, Alicia. Okay. Thank you. She's Mina, our lovely, lovely, lovely mother of our flower girl, Jasmine. Well, I've totally enjoyed coming over here. I wasn't, wasn't going to come for a start, now I'm very pleased I came. Because I met these boys, uh, they were scallywags when I saw them last, and now they've grown up to be nice young men. And it's been a pleasure to, to, to catch up with them. And uh, someday I'll perhaps catch up with the other two boys too, and I hope they have improved the same too. It's a of real, uh, maturity. Yeah, maturity, yeah. They've certainly been matured now to what they're, <laughs> <laughs> to where they're scallywags when I use. 
I'd have gone up to you. You are probably a scallywag. Under and he, he just admitted it to me today. So there was like big family truth coming out there. And he said I was a scallywag too when I was younger. So I'm not the only one. No, no not Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it was a really nice day. It's a bit warm though. Yeah. Could have headed down south to have it. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's been good. Good food too. Very, very well catered for. Okay. And uh, Penny, for your thoughts, Penny? Oh, yeah, good one. <laughs> um, I'd just like to congratulate yourself and Sarah. And um, on behalf of everyone down in Brisbane that couldn't make it, the rest of the family, um, they send all their love and congratulations as well. Thank you very much. Okay, Ditto, you young little thing. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit of a brown noser. Okay, and how... Everybody that couldn't come wishes you both the very best. Beautiful day. Thank you very much. Every happiness. And I expect to see him 50 years' time at the 50 year... Oh, Jesus, I hope you don't care. I don't want to see you in 50 years time, darling. Oh, okay. Looking, looking up or down? Oh, <laughs> I suppose it's down, Mum. Okay, have we got any... We, we, I think we've got everyone now. Thank you. Can I get a VB? Within its framework of commitment and loyalty, marriage enables the establishment of a home where, through tolerance, patience and courage, the love and affection of this man and this woman may develop into a deep and lasting relationship. In such a satisfactorily shared life, they should retain their individual identities, not viewing themselves as a couple so inseparable that they have no existence apart from each other. Now, Ira de Simons, I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise this, your marriage, before, before you are joined together, I am bound to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to the law in Australia, is the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others and is voluntarily entered into for life. We who are witnesses to this marriage hope that despite the stress is inevitable in any life, their love and support for each other and their trust and understanding of each other will increase the commitment and heighten your joy in living. Who brings Sarah stand beside Malcolm? You say I do, Dad. Say I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back. Sarah and Malcolm, face each other, please. And repeat after me together. I affirm my love for you. I affirm my love for you. As I invite you. As I invite you. To share my life. To share my life. I promise always. I promise, I promise always to respect your needs. To respect your needs and individuality. And individuality. I will endeavour. I will endeavour through kindness. In through kindness. Understanding. And understanding. Trusting, trust. Trust. To achieve. To achieve the warm, rich life. The warm, rich life. We now envisage. We now envisage. We now envisage. Malcolm, will you please repeat after me? I call upon all here present. I call upon all, all here present to witness to witness that I, Malcolm Brendan Skelton, that I, Malcolm Brendan Skelton, take you, Sarah Jane Batts, take you, Sarah Jane Batts, to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Sarah, will you please repeat after me? I call upon all here present. I call upon all here present to witness that. To witness. To witness that I, Sarah Jane Batts, that I, Sarah Jane Batts, take you, Malcolm Brendan Skelton, take you, Malcolm Brendan Skelton, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. Right. Please, Can I have Sarah's birthday? Okay. Sat and repeat after you. You know what you could repeat. The roundness of this ring. The roundness of this ring symbolizes symbolizes the endlessness the endlessness of our love of our love. 
Its value. Its value reminds us. Reminds us that we should defend. That we should defend and protect. And protect that which that we hold most which valuable. Which we hold most valuable in life. In life. Wear it with love and honor. Wear it with love and honor. Sarah. I will wear this ring as a symbol of our love for each other. I will wear this ring as a symbol of our love for each other. There's a mark of left hand. <laughs> left. Yes, on his left hand. <laughs> right. The roundness of this ring. The roundness of this ring. Symbolizes. Symbolizes. The endlessness of our love. The endlessness of our love. Its value reminds us. Its value reminds us that we should defend and protect. That we should defend and protect that which we hold most valuable in life. That which we hold most valuable in life. Wear it with love and honor. Wear it with love and honor. Malcolm, I will wear this ring. I will wear this ring as a symbol of our love for each other. As a symbol of our love for each other. Hold each other's hands, please. Malcolm and Sarah, we have heard you promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the bond you have made. It is not my standing here which will make your marriage real, but the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today before your family and friends. May you retain the strength you need to keep the promises you have made, and may your home bring happiness to your family and friends. Malcolm and Sarah, you are now husband and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. All right. Wow. <laughs>